Uh, this water treatment plant has been treating water for 100 years. Uh, the basins that they're working in now were built in the 50s. So we're doing a little bit of rehabilitation in the concrete to protect uh, the treatment plant's assets. We take water from the Kaw River and treat it here for Lawrence's drinking water. Uh, the basins that they're working in now are the primary and secondary sedimentation basins, uh, essentially removing a lot of the organics and anything that you don't want in your drinking water. Um, in 2012, we had an overall master plan completed for the city. And one of the things that was identified in that master plan was to do structural rehabilitation on some of the basins. One of the things that uh, is critical with projects of this nature is making sure that um, all of the parties involved with the repairs are on the same page. And uh, working with John Rohr, that, that's been um, one of the, the, the biggest benefits on my end is the, the teamwork that they bring to the table. I'm here to assist and provide um, insight or direction when there's a question about the drawings or the intent of a repair and it's always um, a collaborative effort when I'm, when I'm on site. I uh, always feel like we're, we're working through the problems together. This was a complex water treatment plant improvement project. Uh, there was a tight schedule and there was a lot of concrete deterioration in these structures that had to be repaired throughout the winter. Uh, but that's also what made it fun. Uh, we look for projects like that where we can come in and apply our expertise and show our abilities and extend the service life of these structures for the communities that they serve. For us, I think that's really at the end of the day what this is all about is the people of this community and the people that are here doing the work, the craftsmen, executing the improvements and the people in the office that are making all that possible and the project managers and design engineers that are out here making sure we're performing the most cost effective and high quality repairs for our client and then the city engineers and their staff as well that are laying out the goals and that plan for this project to ensure that their community and those people to get the best that this team has to offer. And that team, when you have a common goal that's for the common good of everybody involved, uh, you can tackle some pretty complicated projects and, and have a lot of fun doing it at the same time. Uh, so I think that's what everybody would like, you know, uh, go home with a smile on your face knowing that you did something that matters. And I know that this definitely matters to the, the people of the community. John Rohr has been really good about communicating along the process of the quantities, making sure that we're within budget on the project. Um, I really trust their experience with concrete rehabilitation. Uh, they've been really spot on when it comes to sounding both good and bad concrete. They've identified a lot of the things that the report did not as far as repairs needing to be done and have worked with us very well to uh, move forward with those repairs, even though we're on a timeline, we have unique milestones, um, and a very strict timeline as this plant is completely shut down during the majority of this construction, which is very rare for this.